All right, in my last video, I talked about cleaning up artwork, and I wanted to talk about that again, only this time I have a black and white sketch. It's actually that same Delft pattern. I had just done a black and white ink version of it as well. The first thing I'm gonna do, I scanned this pencil sketch that I painted on, and then I printed that, and then drew over that in ink. So that's why you see this kind of paper in the background here. So the first thing I'm gonna do to make this easier is go to Image, Adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm going to just brighten this up so that you don't see the paper as much, basically. Let's see, probably a little too bright. Let's do that. Just kind of cleaning that up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that Command or Control J. And then what I wanted to show you is kind of an interesting trick. I talked about using this magic wand tool before. The problem is, is on something like this, you're gonna have all of these white spaces in between that aren't gonna get picked up. So all of these inner pieces. That would be really annoying to have to do. So you can actually go to Select and pick a color range. I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and I've got highlights selected, so the whites. I'm gonna hit OK. You can see how it picked up all the white for my picture. I can go ahead and hit Delete, hit Deselect, and my artwork is all isolated in a scan like this. I actually wanna show you, I went ahead and did this earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the Photoshop file that this came from, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, black and white, so this is just a file that I spent. I spent a little time on this cleaning up some of the ink drawings so you can see how that looks. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hide that white and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to save this as a PNG. Sorry, you can't see the bottom of my window here. I'll move that. So at the very bottom here, I've got PSD. I'm gonna save this as a PNG because what I want to do is bring it into Illustrator and turn these sketches, these doodles that I created, if you will, turn this line drawing into vector art. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Illustrator now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document and bring this in. I'm gonna hit New. You really could do this a couple different ways, but I'm gonna open up a new document. Now I'm gonna open up, actually I'm gonna place, go ahead and grab this thing that I scanned earlier. There you are, place it in here. What's nice about this is because it's a PNG, it has a transparent background, so when I trace this in Illustrator, it's gonna work a little better. I'm also gonna hit embed, because then if I move this file, I don't have to worry about it. So now I have this, image in here, and I can go ahead and image trace this. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm not gonna worry about the object size. Now there's this little thing here where I can see all of my options, but to be honest, I'm pretty darn happy with how that turned out. So you can see how it scanned and traced and outlined all my little doodles. I'm gonna hit expand so I can see the results of my image trace. I'm gonna zoom in. What's nice about this now is I can go ahead and pick little areas. So for example, I had those, those little tiny pieces there. I didn't like that. So I could go in and pick up those little points there. I'm gonna hit the little negative, just drop those off. Once again, you can kind of zoom in and you can look at the outcome of your scanned art, go ahead and do some modifications to it. So I'm going to pick that little piece there, just delete it, pick that little piece there, just delete those points. Go back over here. Once again, I'm just kind of looking through my document and selecting some of these areas just to clean up a little bit. These little points here, kind of annoying. The other thing you can do is go ahead and you can fix some of your paths. So for example, right here, 
I don't like this giant blob that's at the bottom of this. So I can go ahead and play with the shapes here. And I accidentally went and turned off my Wacom tablet, which was a bad idea, but I don't feel like getting it back out again. So. Go ahead and move that. And then I can move this little point down here. And kind of like my other example that I showed you, you can, with graphics programs, drive yourself insane with the amount of time you spend editing your artwork. So do be careful. I want this doodle to look freehand still. So I do want to be careful not to spend too much time going and perfecting these shapes. But at the same time, I do want to take advantage of the fact that this is Illustrator and I can play with some of these anchor points. For example, make some of the points here look a little cleaner. I am not going to bore you with spending time. And I should have hit Ignore White. And actually, I can hit this little magic selection tool. I think that will select all my white areas and get rid of them. Basically what I want to show you is if you look at this point here, you can see how this is now paths so that I can actually edit these paths on this document here. Once again, I've taken my line drawing, my raster drawing, and because this is now a vector, this can be scaled to any size. So if I wanted to print this on a billboard that was 100 feet tall and 500 feet wide, I could do that. Once again, I can also go in and perfect some of these points here. You can see, for example, this has got this awkward little, let me zoom in better. I don't really like that shape there. So I can go ahead and I'm actually gonna take this out a little bit and bring it in. I think that looks better. Once again, you can go ahead and take your drawing. I like to up the contrast in Photoshop. It just makes it easier for Illustrator to scan it. Now I have this document that I can go ahead and I have turned it into a doodle. Because it's vector art, I can scale it. I can make it any size I want. So once again, take your original illustration that you've scanned, adjust the contrast of your image so that it's a little bit stronger. You can go ahead and select that color range to delete it in Photoshop, save it as a PNG, and then you can have Illustrator live trace it. Once it's live traced, go ahead, fix your drawing up a little bit, and now you have vector scalable art that is all based on paths.